Hey guys. So, some information was brought to my attention yesterday morning because it's technically tomorrow because it's four in the morning. So, let's get into this. So, I want to say this first. You are a horrible human being if you ever try to guilt trip someone into being with you. Whether that is making them feel sorry for you or threatening to hurt yourself if they don't go out with you. Another thing, do not use someone else's death to make others pity you so that they'll talk to you. It is a horrible thing to lose someone. I understand that very well. I've lost many people in my life from death. But I would never use them to gain friendships with other people because then you're basing your friendship off of pity. Off of pity. So, that is how I'm starting off this video. So, it was brought to mine and my friend group's attention that my ex went back to the girl that he had cheated on. Like, they're not together, but he had went and messaged her. Her and I are the ones that found out that we were both dating the same guy. So, me and her are friends. He went, and she was trying to be there for him, about his dad. And then, he tried to do what he did to me. He tried to use the fact that she was pitying him because of his dad. He was trying to use that to soften her heart, if that's what he thought he was doing, to then proceed to try to ask her back out and be basically saying he still needs her. Okay. When he did that to me, he sent me a paragraph saying that I was the one he trusted, I was the one still in his heart, all this, all that, I was the one he still loved, all this. He sent her a very, very similar paragraph. I don't know if it was the same exact words. I don't know. But it was basically the exact same paragraph that he sent her. Then she said that to him, you know, you're, you've said this to me, you know. She brought me in. She's like, you know, you said this to Courtney before. So I'm not going to get used because I'm not going to go through that again. And I applaud her for that. I totally applaud her for that. Don't put yourself back into a situation where you know that you're not going to come out okay from. I mean, you know, go for things, you know, try new things, but don't, like, if you know you're not going to come out okay from it, don't go back into it, kind of thing. Okay, continuing. He proceeds to say that, you know, he's upset about the fact that she's still talking to me, and all that, and, like, the fact that, you know, everybody's still talking to me. And it's like, I didn't do shit to this guy. I didn't do shit to him. There were many times where I got late. I asked teachers to write me a, a pass to class because I knew I was going to be late because I was there comforting him from shit going on at home. So, like... I didn't do shit to this guy except be there for him, be a supportive girlfriend. <laughs> so, and then even after everything, I was on a phone call recently and he was on the phone call. I was civil with him. I told him hello. I could have been so petty on that phone call, but I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I should have been. He would have deserved it. But I wasn't. Okay. Continuing. So 
so he's saying, you know, he's mad about the whole thing. He's saying, you know, like, oh, yeah, you believe her, all that, blah, 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 blah. She proceeds to send him the screenshots that I had taken when he had messaged me. She sent them to him to throw back his words at his face, saying that I was lying. It's like, okay. And then he proceeds to say the whole, you know, oh yeah, you believe her and everything. And then she, he decides to start making her feel bad about herself. He starts saying that, you know, she's hurting Lily and Tim. And Lily's her best friend. So Tim is like a brother to her, but he's telling her that she's hurting them. Mind you, he does not talk to Lily. Lily will not talk to him. As far as I know, he doesn't really even talk to Tim. I know that they talk on the phone sometimes, but it's not as often as he talks with the rest of us. As It's not as often as Tim talks to the rest of us. So, you know, this boy is pissing me off so bad because to me, that's hurting a friend of mine. And I'm very mama bear about my friends. So I will literally get into a fight for my friends if I have to, if it comes to that, if I cannot if I cannot talk my way out of a situation, I am not afraid to throw hands. I'm not. I've gotten into situations before where I probably could have ended up throwing hands, but I was able to talk myself out of situations. But honestly, it's getting to the point where this kid needs to get his ass kicked. And, you know, he's saying that... <sighs> he is 18. He is 18. And honestly, he just needs to grow the fuck up. The situation with him is so similar to the situation that happened with my dad. My parents are divorced. And my dad is just a horrible person. He acts so childish. Like... He won't even talk to his family because of the fact that my mom associates with them. Uh, and they associate with my mom. And it's his family. He's not associating with his family because they associate with my mother. And it's like, with that situation, they'd rather not lose me, my two brothers, my three nie my two nieces and nephew over my dad if you had to pick between one family member over the ones that are going to carry on your family name which would you pick yeah that and you know babies they're going to pick the babies so, there's that. My biggest thing is I just want to know why I'm the main person that he's blaming about things. He told her that I wanted him to die. Mind you, I've never, ever, 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 ever in my life told someone to die or kill themselves. Anything like that. I am so strongly against that. I may think of ways to kill you in my mind, but I'm never going to outright tell you to kill yourself or to die. I would never fucking say that to somebody because I know how wrong that is. And it is so wrong on so many levels to encourage someone to do that to themselves or to be put into that situation. So. That's making me look like I'm a bad person. And he's saying, you know, like, 
he's talking about how he's talking to Timothy and T and Lily and all this. And then he says that everybody just wants him to bleed to death. And it's like, okay, who are you talking about there? Are you talking about the people that you're supposedly still talking to? That you're supposedly friends with? Because, like, if you're talking about someone like that, then and <laughs> they find out about it, that's just so wrong on so many levels. Because then, how are they going to feel? You know, they're going to feel like shit. Because it's like, okay, what was my friendship to you then? <sighs> One of the few reasons why the people that were his friends decided to stick by my side was not only because he was in the wrong, but because of the fact that I took the time to actually make my own friendships with them instead of just having him as my connection to them. I hung out with them when he wasn't there. Even if he wasn't at school, you know, like, I'd still go up and hang out with them because they, because I became friends with them. I created uh, friendships with them without his help, without needing any of his help. <sighs> but just the fact that he's blaming me, he's making me out to be the main reason for all of his pain in this whole thing. Which, honestly, that's going in messing up my friendships. That's, on, that's, like, I'm not saying that people are going to believe him. I'm just saying that, you know, he's deliberately going out and trying to ruin my image just so then people feel sorry for him. And another thing, like, okay... I understand, you know, things may change after someone dies, but the entire time that I had been with him, most of the time he was complaining about his dad and saying how much he didn't like his dad, how much he hated his dad. But it's like every time something bad happened to his dad, that was when he was worried about him. And that was when he actually showed he cared about him. It shouldn't have to take drastic measures for you to realize how much you care about someone and that's another reason why I say he's he's still a child he's not mature even though he hung around a lot of people that were way mature for their age when I hung out with them in high school, sure, they did the stupid teenage things, but their mindsets about different topics were way mature, way more than their age would specify. And so I liked hanging out with them because they created good conversation. And they were someone that I enjoyed spending my time with. So... Yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, that's why I said the things I did at the beginning of the video is because that's what he did, is he was trying to make her pity him and make her feel bad enough to go back out with him. And the thing is, me and her, we're past that. And I am so happy for her because she is such a strong woman and I'm glad to call her my friend um even though the circumstances that brought about our friendship were not the best you know we were still able to form a connection with each other through that and I'm very grateful to call her my friend so that is all I have to say. So, bye guys.